uh, but worried about my phone storage. <laughs> I don't want the video to cut off like it has before. So we'll snap to it. Reading through the Bible, Exodus 14, and I'll say a little prayer. Um, Lord, help me to understand you better through your word, and not just understand you, but have a, like a deep knowing in my heart, and um, give me assurance as I pray with the centurion of over 2,000 years ago, I believe, help thou my unbelief. And I pray for anybody and everybody who listens or watches that you bless them. Pray these things in Yeshua's name, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Exodus 14. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Tell the sons of Israel to turn back and camp before pi ha Eroth, between Migdal and the sea. You shall camp in front of baal Zephon, opposite it by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the sons of Israel, They are wandering aimlessly in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. Thus I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and he will chase after them, and I will be honored through Pharaoh and all his army, and the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. And they did so. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants had a change of heart toward the people. And they said, What is this we have done, that we have let Israel go from serving us? So he made his chariot ready and took his people with him. And he took 600 select chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt with officers over all of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he chased after the sons of Israel as the sons of Israel were going out boldly. Then the Egyptians chased after them with all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, his horsemen and his army, and they overtook them camping by the sea beside pi ha in front of Baal-Zephon. And as Pharaoh drew near, the sons of Israel looked, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they became very frightened. So the sons of Israel cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, it is because there were no, oh, sorry, let me, take two. It's not the Bible, that's me messing up a verse. Okay, verse 11, over again, uh, verse 11. Then they said to Moses, is it because there were no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you dealt with us in this way, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the word that we spoke to you in Egypt, saying, Leave us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses said to the people, Do not fear. Stand by and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you will never see them again forever. The Lord will fight for you while you keep silent. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the sons of Israel to go forward. And as for you, lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the sons of Israel shall go through the midst of the sea on dry land. And as for me, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go in after them. And I will be honored through Pharaoh and all his army, through his chariots and his horsemen. Then the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I'm honored through Pharaoh, through his chariots and his horsemen. And the angel of God, who had been going before the camp of Israel, moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them. So it came between the camp of Egypt and the camp of Israel. 
and there was the cloud along with the darkness, yet it gave light at night. Thus the one did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land so the waters were divided. And the sons of Israel went through the midst of the sea on the dry land, and the waters